Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about hotspots and geology. What a hotspot is and how it relates to convection currents, which we've been talking about lately. And I will show you what convection currents cause in terms of the motion of hotspots. So let's go ahead and get to it. First, let's talk about what a hotspot is not. So it's not just simply a shallow reservoir or a local short little thing. It's also not a really long plume that comes from the outer core of the Earth. Think of it as thermal energy coming from the center of the Earth. And it's almost like a blowtorch in terms of the energy that comes straight up. As heat rises, of course, the material becomes less dense. And this solid mantle can distribute the heat it is slightly movable, the mantle does slightly move like hot, dense, silly putty, so to speak. And you've got two convection currents that you can see up here. So these convection currents are forming a divergent plate boundary, as we've talked about. And as one side moves to the left, so to speak, you'll see a plume of heat that'll come up, melt rock, and will cause volcanoes to be formed because of the melted rock. So let's take a look at how that works. All right, so let's zoom in and see what's happening here. So keep in mind we've got different layers of the Earth. At the top we've got the lithosphere, which includes the crust and the top layer of the mantle. And this thermal plume is going up. It's heating the rock, the lithosphere, the tectonic plate. So the plate is going to be moving from right to left from our point of view. As it moves, before it moves, you have melting of rock at weak points and channels and whatnot through the rock, where that rock gets liquefied. Liquefied rock underneath the surface is called magma. Once it comes above the surface, we call that lava. And so over hundreds of thousands of years, you can form a volcano using this process. Now, with time, you're going to see the top layer just sort of raft from right to left. So you can see it faster now. This is where time is passing more quickly. And you can imagine that the thermal plume is going to stay relatively stationary. And what happens with time is you can form a volcanic chain of mountains and volcanoes that's that's how the hawaiian islands were created and other island chains throughout the world and that's what a hot spot can do okay i do want to say normally i don't do videos like this where i am narrating someone else's work i do want to give credit and respect to the folks that you see on the page here i think they've done an excellent job with the animation and the visuals that you see here I'm going to put a link to their site as well in the description of my video down below. The reason why I am using their animation is because it's far superior to anything that I could create. In any case, if you have any other questions or comments, please let me know. And I hope you all have a great day. Take care.